It's Kate here from The Full Freezer and I am here today to share with you my freezer stash pizzas which I am so excited to be cooking in the new Versa Zone. This is so quick, you're not going to believe it and we are going to be cooking straight from frozen so let's get started. Okay, so we are keeping this so, so simple today. So I've got a couple of flatbreads, which we're going to use as bases. You could use pita breads, you could use wraps, whatever you like. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop some tomato puree on, some herbs, and then I've got a selection of cheese, some mozzarella, and various different toppings. Now, what I love about this is I've got toppings that are gonna be cooked straight from frozen, so you can literally buy them in your supermarket freezer aisle if you want. Um, and I've got some fresh stuff, and I'm gonna show you how you can freeze those fresh things for another day as well. So if you want to make pizzas another day, or if you are wanting to make a different meal with those leftover ingredients, you can do so. So with the tomato puree, we are literally just going to squeeze on about a tablespoon. Um, now I'm gonna do two pizzas and I'm going to make essentially what is my children's favorite. Um, this is one of the things that I really, really like about these because if you've got a stash of ingredients in the freezer, you can make whatever variety of um, pizza that you like. So my daughter is a little bit different. She doesn't like ham, but she loves pepperoni and she adores pineapple. Any excuse to get something sweet onto her foods. So I'm going to make a pepperoni and pineapple pizza for my daughter and I'm going to do a sweet corn and pepper pizza for my son. So obviously they're not really traditional toppings, but that's the beauty of this, that you can put on whatever you like whatever your preference is. Um, now I'm going to just put a few herbs on top of the tomato puree to give it a little bit extra flavour. So you can just add some mixed herbs, it could be oregano, whatever you've got in stock, whatever is in the cupboard. And then we want to pop on a little bit of cheese. So I've just got some cheddar cheese here. Um, again, you can use whatever hard cheeses you've got around the house, whatever works for you. So we put a bit of cheese on there. And again, as I mentioned before, none of this stuff is going to go to waste. So things like this cheese, once it's grated, can actually be frozen. So you can then use it on another day if you are making more pizzas or if you want to use it to top something like a pasta bake or if you want to put it into a cheese sauce, you've got that flexibility. So I will show you how to do that in a bit. I'm going to pop a bit of mozzarella on as well because my kids are real mozzarella fiends. And again, this is going to be frozen after everything we've got left over is going to get frozen. So sweet corn on one. This is straight from the freezer. And again, you can just get out as much as you need. You don't need to have stacks of it out. And even if you're using tinned sweet corn, you could freeze the leftovers off the tin. Pop some peppers on there again. These are straight from the freezer. So you can pick these up in the freezer aisle or if you had half a pepper in your fridge that you weren't gonna use, you could chop it up, freeze it for another day and then you've got it in stock. We've then got our pineapple that I'm going to pop on. So I'll just do a couple of pieces. If you do buy the shop-bought frozen pineapple, you might find the pieces are a little bit big. So you might want to cut them up so they're a little bit smaller. Um, I'm then gonna pop some fresh pepperoni on. And again, these leftovers can be frozen for another day. So there we go. So how quick and easy was that prep? So what I love with the new Versa Zone is that you don't really need to preheat it. So we're gonna grab the drawer out and I want to show you as well that you've got this divider in the middle. So if you want to cook two separate things at different temperatures on different settings, you can absolutely do that. You can even sync the finish so that they cook at a temperature so that they actually, everything is ready to serve at the same time. We are gonna take this out because obviously we're just cooking two pizzas. So these are gonna take the same amount of time to cook. But if you had something like a wrap that you wanted or if you just wanted to cook a whole pizza, you'll be able to pop that in here and it's gonna cook very nicely in that drawer in super fast time. So it's super simple to switch from two drawers to one. You literally just double tap and then we can select air fry, set the temperature, set the time and make sure that, so we want 200 degrees C for about five minutes, just until everything is absolutely steaming hot and all the cheese is golden and lovely. Um, and then we just press start. 
So whilst that's cooking, I want to show you how you can save your fresh ingredients so that you can use them another day. Now, I've got a variety of different things here, things like ham, pepperoni, I've got some spinach, some cherry tomatoes, and I've got our cheeses. The most important thing when you are freezing leftover ingredients is remembering that if you've got something that's going to clump together, you need to freeze it open on a tray first. So for example, with my cherry tomatoes, I want to pop these out onto the tray so that they can freeze for a couple of hours before I then move them to a freezer bag. And this means that when I want to use them for something else, so whether it's another pizza, maybe some bolognese, I can literally just grab out what I actually need. Now, that also goes for cheese. So, for example, if you've got any of your grated cheese left over, spread it out on a tray. Mozzarella as well, you can freeze your mozzarella pieces individually. Once they're frozen solid, just stick them straight into a freezer bag, make sure you label it. Another one that I absolutely love is to use an ice cube tray. Now, I've got one here with a lid and with a silicon bottom, which is really handy for getting things in and out. But if you've just got a normal ice cube tray, that is absolutely fine. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop our tomato puree, so what we've got left that would usually go in the fridge and end up maybe staying there for a while. Um, we're just gonna pop that straight into our ice cube tray. And then this is gonna go in the freezer. And once it's frozen solid, then these cubes can be put into a freezer bag so that you can get your ice cube tray back to use for other things, but also so that you can use those cubes straight from frozen in whatever you're cooking. So things again like bolognese, or if you're making a pizza, you just defrost that quickly in the microwave and then you can use it straight away. So that's our tomato puree saved. And there are some things that are even simpler. So for example, your spinach, if you've got any leftover bagged spinach, you can just give this a wash, dry it off, and pop it straight into a freezer bag, pop that in the freezer. We can also do the same if you've got any leftover flatbreads or pita bases. These shouldn't stick together in the freezer, so you can literally just pop them into a freezer bag, squeeze the air out, and then just write on the top what it is and pop the date on just so you know when you've put it in the freezer. So it's only taken us a couple of minutes to save all of these ingredients for another day, in which time our pizza is cooked, so let's have a look at how it's doing. So there you have it, my freezer stash pizzas. And these were actually ready in three minutes. They are super, super speedy. This is so much faster than an oven. So do keep an eye on them whilst they're cooking. Now, I would love you to have a go at this yourself. Let me know in the comments what toppings you go for, how it works out for you. Um, and please do keep an eye out for my next video. I'm gonna be showing you how to make some butternut squash soup in a flash in the Instant Pot.